first off, do you have an update on Alex or Rui? Um, no update other than they're just going to be reevaluated uh, tomorrow. Um, Alex is is it, is, uh, is it his lower ankle, and then Rui uh, his knee. I don't and know. I, I don't know what the status will be, other than they just they let me know how they how they feel tomorrow. Okay, um, and I know you've talked about it before, and we've asked you about the struggles you guys have had against uh, kind of bottom half teams. But what felt different tonight, even after losing those two guys, you had no problem in the third and and closing things out in the fourth. Well, I I know they. I mean, they they play hard, and they're they're on a, they're on a back to back. I mean, we are, but we're both games are at home, so we knew that we just wanted to keep putting pressure on them and and rebound the ball and get out in transition and and find some easy easy looks. Brad Brad came out and and gave us um, gave us um, a lot of a lot of good looks, and then Russell, you know, he came back to playing good basketball and he got a triple double again tonight, uh, but. Rolo, Rolo also, you just, you can never, you can never like underestimate what he brings to us. I mean, it's all, it's like old school 80s basketball, but it works. We find it. We look for opportunities. And I know it's not the, it's not the, I guess, I mean, I don't know. It's, we like, we like running, we like throwing the ball into him because he, he has such great footwork and he's, and he, he gives us buckets. And I think him and Russell and, have a good have good synergy and he and he does a good job of finding finding shots. But I think his minutes and and our, our starters played really solid to start the game. Fred. Hey Scott. Um Ish has been a much different shot maker at the very least since he came back from his injury a couple of weeks ago. Um what what do you think has been working well for him on on that front? Well, I, I thought even like last year, he, he started shooting the three ball much better. He's getting confident, puts a lot of time into it. I mean, he, he, his game is speed and quickness, change of direction and pace. But he also is pretty good at the mid range. I know we got a, a, a bunch of guys that's their sweet spots. You know, we, we, we can win. It, it's been proven now. We've had some really good games uh, without taking or making a lot of threes. Uh, but I think with Ish, I think he's pretty comfortable um, in the mid range. And it's like I said last year, I thought his threes were much better. And, and this year, you know, he's, I mean, it's hard to do what he's done, you know, miss a two months of a season and then come back during the last six weeks and, and make an impact. And he has, his minutes are right, right where, you know, I think his, he can handle it right now, but I thought he was really good. He gave us a spark when we needed it. Chase. Scott, uh, it looked like Rui was wearing a, a band under his left knee. Um, is this something that he's been dealing with previously uh, before tonight? No, I don't think so. I mean, I know, I know sometimes he, he wears that periodically. Um, yeah, I, I mean, he did get hit. He, I know he, he hit knees. I forgot with who, um, but we'll see how he feels tomorrow. He's, he's a, super competitive and hope that it's just uh this game and feel better better tomorrow and then much better the next day uh monday and um only three points for denny but uh it seemed like he made an impact in a lot of other areas uh what do you think about the way he played tonight yeah i mean he's he does a little bit of everything it's like it's like every you know every rookie that goes through you know you go you have some good games and you have some games you don't get a lot of touches and we have you know brad and and russell or or our playmakers and and denny's learning how to uh to play with our with our with the with the group i think he's doing exactly what most 29 tw or 20 year olds do and but i i I, th I thought he had a good pass to russell for the alley oop he's pretty he was solid on defense you know one of the things going into the game was a big emphasis was um, Josh Jackson. He had his way with us last game, and and we we focused on it. And I thought Denny did a good job of um, not giving him shots, 
and then making them take tough shots. So that's an impact. I don't see any other hands up, so I got one more. Um, Ish Smith, uh, what were you missing when he was out of the lineup? We talked about your offense. Um, you know, it's been kind of inconsistent this year. Uh, do you think his absence for two months or whatever it was was a big reason for that? Well, I mean, he's he's a big part of, you know, what we've established last season to play with the pace and and give our shooters opportunities to get shots because he does – he does touch this touch the paint and, and spray it out to our three point shooters, but our offense has been um, up and down because I think a lot of it is we've had some pretty good offensive players that didn't play in games, uh, but we've tried to stay competitive and our defense has actually the last I don't even know 30 games have gotten really pretty good and it's keeping us in a lot of games and during this stretch, especially, uh, but Ish is a big part. Uh, he puts a lot of pressures on pressure on the the defense because he gets in the paint and you're always looking for him and he does a good job of kicking it out to like our like I said our shooters. You've seen uh, Daniel Gafford play for you know since he was you guys were with the Bulls together. What's been the biggest change for him in your eyes since he first came into the league? Everybody gets smarter. He's always had great instincts though, especially defensively. Um, he knows what he does, and he doesn't. He doesn't deviate from it. I mean, why? Why do that when you're so effective? What is What is he like on the court? Personality. I mean, I know you don't literally play with him because you guys play the same position, but but personality wise, what is he like on the court? It's a lot to be. It's a lot of fun to be around. Um, you can see the energy out there when he's playing. You can feel it. Um, it's contagious. It's fun to be around. Ava. Hey, Robin, um, we've asked you guys kind of variations on this question before um, after you've struggled with kind of teams at the bottom of half of the uh, the conference, but what felt different tonight against the Pistons just in a really strong second half? Um, I think we were consistent. We uh, our focus didn't waver too much. Whenever they made a small run, I thought we did a great job of regrouping and refocusing. Um, and in your pregame tweet about your outfit, it, is the factory you were referring to Cheesecake Factory? No, no, no. No, it was not <laughs> Cheesecake Factory. I've had my shindigs at Cheesecake Factory, but um, no. I, uh, I, I was referring to Andy Warhol's factory. Okay, that's a, that's a really different factory, so I'm glad that I asked that question. <laughs> no, we should specify, certainly. You've really consistently been making a lot of shots since, since you came back. Has has anything changed for you on that end of the floor over the last two weeks, or uh, or is or is it just a case of shot making and that's it? Um, so when I was hurt, it's crazy. It was a blessing in disguise. Um, uh, it truly was a blessing. Um, I remember that uh, me and uh, Corey Gaines, my guy, I had Corey since I was in Phoenix in 2013, and uh, the only thing I could do was shoot in the chair. And so, uh, as you guys know, I think last year, um, I shot a high percentage of three, but it was a little janky. Uh, it was called a spade of spades, a little janky. Uh, Mid-range was, you know, it was fluent, but uh, spotters was a little janky. So, we broke some stuff down uh, uh, and uh, wanted to uh, make it a little bit more smooth and easier. And, uh, and so shooting in the chair helped a lot. And, and I just think now it's just becoming a little bit more fluid and uh, a little more easier. And so uh, that's all I could do, um, you know? So I, I think it's been the work we put in and it's came to some fruition, but I think we all are kind of making shots. I don't want to just look at myself. No, uh, we're all making shots. We're all playing well in the defensive end. And, uh, and uh, so it's been a tribute to guys playing with confidence, putting in the work and, uh, you know, just hitting strides at the right time. And, and I wanted to ask you about Daniel Gafford, too. Yeah. Like you guys you guys have all talked so much about what he is as a lob threat and how that kind of changes when you operate his pick and roll. D defensively, does he change at all with his, the way he defends the rim? Does he change yeah. the way that you defend on the perimeter at all? Absolutely. Uh, you know, it, when you got somebody that's a, a rim protector back there, you, can, you, can, uh, you know you got somebody back there that, that protects you. And defensively, you can climb into your guy a little bit more and force him to the basket. Um, and, and so, uh, obviously, he's helped our defense tremendously. Uh, we've gotten better on the ball as well. 
Uh, but yeah, Gaff is uh, he brings so much element, not just a lob threat, not just a rebounder threat offensively and defensively. Um, he, he does a great job of protecting the rim, and showing out on screen rolls, and, and all those different things he does. Is, uh, this is so valuable and uh, mobile, big, is athletic. Ava? Uh, I think the last time we talked to you, you mentioned needing to get uh, the team swagger back. Where do you feel like you guys are on, on the confidence level, obviously having won six of the last seven now? And was that something you guys were able to do before you started the run? Like, were you feeling confident even before you went down to Orlando? Or did that just come with the wins kind of naturally? Yeah, well, the first question, we're, we're confident, but we're still humble. Uh, we know we have a long, long way to go. Um, and so it's something that, you know, obviously winning, you know, you gain more confidence as you continue to win, but we, we still got a long, long ways to go. So I'll probably say we're confident, but we're constantly, you know, humble and pushing and pressing for the next game, the next possession. Um, and uh, not so when we went down to the trip started, what, it was in Toronto? Um, yeah. Tampa, Toronto. Toronto. Uh, I think, you know, it was a real, real uh, comeback against Orlando and bounce back. Obviously, we had guys that was out in Toronto, but uh, to come back and bounce back and uh, to win, Orlando kind of, you know, jump started that road trip. And and uh, we had a strong road trip and just kind of riding that wave and playing it all the way through. But, you know, like I said, uh, we got a long way to go. Yeah, you just touched on that a little bit. But how do you personally handle this time of year when you guys are kind of watching the standings and, and in the running for the play in tournament stuff. I, I assume you're doing everything physically the same, but what about uh, the mental part? Uh, the mental part, you just got to do what you can do. Ava. You just got to win the next game. And I think if you win the next game, obviously we need some help, but uh, if you do what you're supposed to do, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer of controlling what you can control. And so all we can control is the next game and the next game. And, and we can control that by winning the next game and winning the next game. And when we do that, who knows? Might not even have to play in a play-in game, but we got to control what we can do, control what we can control, and uh, if we do that, we'll be all right. Thanks, Ish. Uh -huh. Neil? Hey, Ish. Uh, obviously, you know, you guys had won seven of eight games before. Now you guys have won seven of eight again. What's being said in the locker room, you know, either by Russ or Brad or whoever, to try and, you know, be consistent and keep that going instead of how you guys had the fall off um, previously in the season? Next game. Uh, keeping the same kind of mentality. Uh, they've been in the game for so long. They've been conference finals, conference semifinals, all-stars. They've seen it all. And so for them, they saw that we got a little too high when we did win the seven out of eight. And now they're keeping us a little level-headed in a sense to say, yo, it's the next game, next play. Uh, we ain't done nothing, but what we're supposed to do, and that's to win the game. Uh, so uh, I think the biggest thing is being confident. Uh, like I tell Ava, being confident, but Stay humble. Thanks, Ish. And Chase. Ish, I know you and uh, Russell Westbrook go way back. Uh, what's it been like to see him uh, play the way he has lately, especially with the way he's, this season started for him? Yeah, man, man, Russ go back since freaking high school. Uh, man, Russ is playing well, man. He's playing at a high level. Uh, you know, obviously we go as him and Brad go. And so they've been both playing at a high level. Uh, we just got to do what we got to do. Uh, but, you know, it feels good. It looks good. And, and I'm happy for him playing at, at such a level he's playing at. Uh, Russ is special, man. The dude just got a motor. He just don't stop. And so uh, to see him playing at a high level, him and B, that's what we got to do. That's what we need. And and uh, the, the the cast behind, we got to play as well, as, you know, to keep it going. So, uh, but yeah, he looks good, man. He's doing what Russ does. <laughs> And uh, Brad the other day said that, um, you know, he's not too worried about the scoring title, but he's locked in a, a pretty close race with Steph Curry, who had 47 tonight. They're, they're really close. He may not be paying attention, but as a teammate, are you guys kind of aware of it? And, and what do you think it would mean as, as his teammate to see him pull it off? Well, I think it's an accomplishment. I don't care what you say. Having a scoring title is an accomplishment. Uh, but I'm going to tell you something. And I tell B this all the time. He's standing right here. I ain't going to lie to him. Dude, this is the easiest score I've ever seen in my life. Like, I'm being dead serious. Like, we'll be sitting there watching the game, and B got 33, and you like, that was the third quarter, and he ain't even, like, turned it up. And so, um, whatever the case is, I obviously, I think we can do both. I think he can get the scoring title, and we can continue to win. Um, so, uh, and we need him to score at a high level. 
So with all that being said, he keep doing what he's doing. He'll get that. And we'll uh, continue to win games and get to the next level. Hey, Brad. Uh, first off, I listened to that Monica song. It's a good song. Great song. Um, so I noticed Russ was waving to the upper deckers. And so I realized this might be the first time that you have had some friends and family, you know, play in front of you guys this season. Just what did that mean for you uh, to be able to hoop, you know, yesterday and today in front of some familiar faces? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, it was, it was great. Um, like you said, we haven't played in front of our family and all year. Uh, and granted, they were in the upper deck, but, you know, just knowing that their presence was there is always, you know, motivational uh, and supportive. You know, you have somebody there that, that always has your back, no matter if you're playing good or bad, you know. And so it's last night I had my boys here and tonight wifey and my brother came and his, his wife too. So it's uh, it's been great. We're happy. We're happy that uh, we're starting to let fans back and our families are a part of it. Brad? Hey, Brad. Um, with the way that Gafford is able to protect the rim, does he change at all when he's out there? Does he change at all the way that you stylistically defend on the perimeter? No, no. Uh, from the standpoint of we just don't easily let guys go by us, if that's what you mean, so he can so he can block shots. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, it's, I guess what I was more yeah. specifically getting at, I was I was curious if if you felt um, if you felt you could be more more aggressive, maybe going into passing well, lanes or something stuff, like that. Yeah. I mean, to an extent, we still want to be solid as much as possible because we we don't want to take the risk of possibly putting him in foul trouble if it comes down to it, but. I mean, he just does an exceptional job of just going vertical and using his length to his, to his advantage. Uh, you know, we but to your question, we still can't just give up straight lines. You know, we we're bad at that as is, so we can't we can't just leave all that pressure up the gap to handle for us. We still gotta still gotta do our jobs and guard. Chase, Brad. Uh... Ish was obviously out for quite a while, and now he's been back and seems like he's lighting a spark. What, what was missing in terms of his impact that you guys now have in your rotation? Uh, I mean, Ish is, is crafty. You know, he pushes the ball, makes or misses. Um, he's able to get two feet in the paint, create plays, create shots for everybody. Uh, and he's a pest defensively, too. So he just – we needed – I think we just needed that burst of speed, you know, his pace to the game. Uh, he gets everybody moving, um, gets everybody shots uh, without even having to call plays. So he just makes he makes life easy on the offensive end for sure. Uh, you know, we definitely missed him. We missed his his leadership, uh, and then his just IQ for the game. You know, he he doesn't get sped up. I mean, he's fast as is, but he doesn't get he doesn't get sped up. Uh, he plays at his own pace and he makes the right decision. Rich, hey. Uh... Brad, uh, Dwayne Casey a little while ago was saying how basically you guys have, your team has taken on Westbrook's personality, his intensity, his toughness. Is that, is that more and more uh, this year um, or was it always, was it always there this season? Uh, everybody has a little bit inside of themselves, uh, but Obviously, it takes for you as an individual to be able to come out and, and showcase it and, and partake in it each and every night. And uh, Russ does that. You know, he had – that's who he is. Uh, I think I heard it said, like, he's just full of energy, ready to go, always a winning mentality. And uh, he's going to play extremely hard every single time he touches the floor. And it's, it's so surreal to be able to see a guy who plays as hard as he does still have that type of energy, still getting himself up, ready to go. Uh, but it's motivative, you know, it just, like you said, Rich, it just trickles down to the rest of us. Um, you know, we, we kind of embrace that, you know, we embrace where we are. Uh, we embrace, you know, who we think we can be, uh, our style of play. And then, uh, you know, Russ is just attitude towards the game. He's going to, he's going to bark at you and, and yell at you if you're not ready to go. So you can either step it up and hoop or hear from Russ, one or the other. Ava? Hey Brad, um, this might be related to what you were just talking about, but you guys have attributed so much of the recent success to having a healthy roster, but there were times earlier in the year where you struggled against kind of bottom half 
teams when you were fairly healthy, what felt different? What was different about um, nights like tonight? I don't know. It's, it's definitely growth, uh, you know, and it's all, a lot of it's on the defensive end, just accepting challenges, being more in unison and, and uh, obviously clicking. There's a lot of new faces at the beginning of the year, a lot of adjustments we have to make, um, adding guys on the fly, guys being hurt, COVID and all that. And, uh, so it's, it's, we have probably a lot of excuses, uh, but, you know, we, we've had another streak. We won seven out of eight. We've done so now. So it's, you know, we're showing that we can put it together. And obviously it's just having healthy guys and just playing hard, you know, um, it's not just one thing that we can just really point our finger to that we're, you know, we're doing exceptionally well. We're, we're figuring everything out. We're growing, uh, you know, as the year is going on. And um, with it, it, this part of the season almost feels different, like from us, our perspective, people who watch just because you've got the, the play and stuff after you win your games, we get to see what Steph does and, you know, we get to participate in the scoring title stuff. Does this feel fun compared to kind of other moments this season where it just it felt like a drag? You guys were still testing everything like that, or is it is it all the same to you? No, uh, to me, it's still the same. Uh, obviously, my, my main concern is trying to get this playoff push and get us in as, as best as we possibly can. Uh, and that's that's all I'm concerned about. You know, I'm just I just want to help my team win and, and focus on that as as much as and best as I can. That's the only important thing at this point in time of the year. Thanks, Brad. Yeah. Last question back to Neil. Hey, Brad, I think it was the first quarter when you guys were going to the foul line, Pistons were shooting, and you were telling Denny something, I don't know, you know, a tip or, you know, something to correct. I guess, you know, what has that been like, just your teaching process with him this season? It's been great because he, he accepts every every ounce of, you know, criticism of, you know, just offering a helping hand, advice, whatever the case may be. He's open to it throughout the game. You know, he, he's not going to bark back at you or think he knows everything. You know, he's a very receptive, receptive rookie, uh, and he's had his his ups and downs. And I always just try to tell him, you know, just embrace every one of them. You know, I mess up a lot during the game too. I was like, just look at me. Like, I'm I may mess up a closeout. I may mess up, I may turn the ball over. I said, but I don't. I'm not going to stop playing. I'm not going to. You know, you have to continue to, you know, do more throughout the game. And, you know, he's done that throughout the year. He just continues to stay engaged, understanding that this year is going to be a year of growth. And it has been. And he's done exceptionally well with handling it, you know, because we've thrown him into the fire plenty of times. We've made him guard some of the toughest guys in the league. And uh, he accepts it, you know. So sky's the limit for him. We just need him to continue to stay level-headed and keep growing.